In this video, I'm sharing 10 books that will make you a 10 times better copywriter overnight. Let's get into it. These are books that really shaped my copywriting journey and taught me a lot about marketing, psychology, and writing good copy. I highly suggest these books. There are more books that I'd like to add to the list, but we're just going to start with 10 to give you a starting list. So first of all is Great Leads. Great Leads is a book that will help you start your copy. All these books are great for content as well as great for writing sales pages and emails and any type of content. So social media content as well as static content like web copy and stuff like that. Great Leads is all about starting your copy. So how to start your copy for different target audiences at different awareness stages. For example, there's least aware where your audience isn't even aware that they have a problem all the way to most aware where they they understand that they have a problem, they understand that there's a solution out there, they understand that you're selling a solution, and at that point, your lead needs to persuade them that your solution is the one to go with, but at least where, where they don't even know that they have a problem, your lead needs to help them understand that they have a problem that they need to solve. Great Leads walks you through how to start your copy to talk to those different awareness stages in your audience. Very, very useful and very useful in learning about the awareness stages if you do not already know that. So you can target your copy to the right stage because if you have the wrong copy for the wrong stage and you're trying to target a different type of audience, it's just going to flop. Next is Cashvertising. This is the book that basically when I started learning about copywriting, everyone said read cash advertising. This was probably the fourth book that I read. I think the first book I read was, we'll get to that. It's, it's in this video, but this is very, very useful. It, it basically walks you through how to write ads. So how to write copy, how to understand copy, the human psychology behind copy. I believe this walks you through the eight different, yeah, it walks you through the life force eight, which is eight different things that people want. So like survival, enjoyment of life, life extension, enjoyment of food and beverages, freedom from fear, pain and danger, sexual companionship, comfortable living conditions, blah, blah, blah. So it basically gives you insight into what people want and how you can shape your copy so that it's focused on what people psychologically want and you can line your product or service up with what people actually want because when it comes down to it everyone really wants the same kind of stuff like you want to be safe you want to have companionship you want to have freedom you want to have fun and you want to be valued in the eyes of others and stuff like that so this gives you a, a good understanding of that overall and here are the main takeaways that are written why specific copy builds more trust how to use human psychology in your copy and how to use testimonials to, to boost conversions testimonials are very very powerful definitely want to use that cash advertising is a great way to understand the psychology of copywriting as well as learn how to apply that understanding of psychology to your copywriting. Next we have Dotcom Secrets. Now Dotcom Secrets is a great book that teaches you how to build out sales funnels and how to write your copy throughout those sales funnels. So it will teach you like how to write your lead page, your landing page, how to write your sales video, how to write a one-time offer page. And a lot of Dotcom Secrets is not just about copywriting, it's about how to build an online business. So it'll walk you through how to create a funnel for your, your online business from lead magnet to purchase, how to create a sales funnel that converts, how to create a value ladder for your business. So you've got the right types of products so someone can buy a cheap tripwire product to start purchasing with you all the way to high ticket offers where you're actually giving your time to these person and you're giving them one-on-one -on -one services. Also walks you through how to write an automated intro email sequence that sells on autopilot. Like this is one of the best parts of the book. Like it teaches you how to write your secrets from beginning to end, like introducing yourself as well as telling your story and then it gives you a template of a sequence that you can use it gives you a lot of useful templates and a lot of useful understanding of why you should use these templates and what you'll learn from each aspect of those templates the fastest way to get good at capturing people's attention and writing hooks to get more views on your linkedin posts or any content across the internet 
is to use templates. The good news is you can create two months of LinkedIn content with my free 74 LinkedIn post ideas and hook templates with examples. Scan the QR code on screen or click on the link in the description to download these. You've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to download this PDF because it won't be free and available forever. Download now. Very useful book. Next, we've got Predictably Irrational. Now, this is a book that dives deep into why humans aren't rational beings. We make irrational choices and then we use logic to justify our choices. So it walks through a bunch of different examples that prove this concept and give you ideas on how you can use this concept in your own business and in your own copy. For example, why emotion sells more than logic and how to sell more using decoy products and decoy products is basically having a product there that you're not expecting to sell that just makes your other offering look better <laughs> so it's like let's say you've got a product that gives you two things and you're selling it for 50 pounds then you've got a product that gives you three things and you're selling it for 75 pounds and then you've got a product that gives you one thing and you're selling it for 49 pounds. This makes the middle product, the 50 pounds one, look great because you're getting you're getting double the things of the, the product that's 49 pounds and you're only paying a pound more. So that's like a decoy product. The lower priced one would be a decoy product because no one's gonna buy that because they can easily get more for one pound more. So that's how that works. And you'll also learn why higher prices lead to happier clients because when people pay more for stuff, they value it more. <laughs> like if you give something away for free, people just think, wow, this is free. I don't really care about this. But when they start paying more, they value it more. And there's a lot of information in that. So next we've got scientific advertising. This was one of the first three books that I read that gave me the basis of understanding copy. And I highly recommend you start your journey with a book like this irrational predictably irrational is a book that's more about psychology behind marketing and copywriting than actually teaching you how to write copy so keep that in mind there are a few books like that on this list because learning psychology behind what makes people buy is very important to becoming a better copywriter scientific advertising walks you through how to do a b test to test your marketing and test your copy why you need to write simply instead of being complicated and boring people to death and how to analyze your data to write better copy so it's about scientific advertising it's about you in using data to improve your results as well as teaches you the basics of writing copy and the logic of copywriting next we've got the persuasion story code this is a book that gives you a variety of story templates and understanding of different stories that you can use that are useful for your business a lot of people are raving about storytelling right now they're saying storytelling is super important blah 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 and storytelling is useful it's not the be all end all another thing is there are some stories that are useful for business and there are some stories that are not you'll often find people recommending the hero's journey framework the hero's journey is great for writing novels and tv shows it's not that great for writing business stories because it just takes too long you don't need that for selling really you need short effective stories that go through the points that are necessary that hit the right psychological triggers to let people know that you can solve their problem that is basically why you want to tell the story because you want to tell a story of how you learn how to solve this problem you want to tell the story to prove that you can solve this problem solve this problem by a case study or something like that this is a very very useful book if you want three story frameworks and examples of how to write stories that attract leads and sell i've got another video on that i'll leave a link in the description down below how to write copy that sells is the book that taught me how to write landing page copy and it's been very effective because my landing pages get from 30 to upwards of 50 percent opt-in rates and my sales pages get from two to nine percent sales rates conversion rates so it's fair to say i know how to write a sales page i know how to write a landing page average opt-in rates for a landing page is like under 10 percent, i think most businesses and then for sales pages i think it's one to two percent this book taught me how to write bullet points that make people curious it walks you through loads of different ways to write bullet points it's amazing for that as well as shows you how to write sales pages using the pasta framework 
which is what I use for writing all my sales pages now. So it's like problem, agitate, story, testimonial, offer, and R for response. This walks you through so many different templates and so much useful advice how to write headlines, how to write every part of your sales page, like the debt copy, the story or solution or testimonial, the response at the end, the offer. So useful. So you, this is probably one of the most useful copywriting books that I've ever read. This is definitely in my top five. Highly suggest you grab this. It will teach you a lot that you need to know about copywriting. Next, we got the Ad Week Copywriting Handbook, which is, I think it was the first or second book that I read. Either this was the first book I read or the one by Robert Bly, which I think has a very, very similar name. Yeah, the Robert Bly one is the copywriter's handbook. So these two were probably the first two that I read, I think. And then it was scientific advertising and then probably cash advertising. And then eventually I got to how to write copy that sells. But this just tells you everything you need to know. Like it gives you, it's an intro course to copywriting. It, it teaches you what copywriting is, how to use it, what it's for, what each part of your copy is for, what you need to be focusing on. So how to make your copy easy to read, the psychological triggers that make people buy, and how to turn your copy into a slippery slide that keeps people reading. One of the main concepts that I got from this book was that the purpose of each line is to get someone to read the next line, creating that slippery slide. Very very, very useful and it gives you a great intro to understanding copywriting and understanding how to write better copy. Then we got how to write a good advertisement. This is very similar to cash advertising, but what it does is it walks you through everything you need to know. So it walks you through how to write headlines, how to use the ADA formula, how to write guarantees, how to write a good call to action, why you need facts in your copy and where to put it, how to position your offer as an advantage. It just gives you a lot of great information. So definitely check this out. And last we've got Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. This is another book that teaches you about marketing psychology and how to influence people. This isn't a book that teaches you how to write copy, but it teaches you about the psychology behind copy. This taught me about analysis paralysis, so why too many options equals less sales. So the less options you present, the easier it is for people to make choices and the better results you're gonna get. How to use social proof to get more sales, as well as how to use scarcity and fear of missing out in your copy and in your marketing. This, this is one of the best books to learn about psychology as it relates to marketing and copywriting. This will be the first book that I'd suggest people to write to have like a primer on the psychology of marketing and that sort of stuff. So I would suggest the first book that you wanna read is the Adweek Copywriting Handbook, then go to Scientific Advertising, then How to Write a Good Advertisement, then How to Write Copy That Sells, then Influence, psychology of persuasion, then then you can go in any order from there because you'll have a great base and then anything else that you learn will also be very, very useful and it will just build on that base. So these 10 books are going to set you apart from most people that I see out there, like with their, I don't know where people are learning copywriting these days, but it definitely isn't from books because all of it just sounds like chat GPT. Like when I see people learning copywriting and they're posting the copywriting subreddit and like, hey, critique my copy. It just sounds terrible. It sounds like they've never picked up a book in their lives. If you wanna be good at copywriting, you need to read books and read copy. You can't do it without that. Can't get good at copywriting without reading copy. You need to read good copy and reading copywriting books by copywriters teaches you how to write copy whilst also serving as a good example of good copy because you'll see the way that they're writing the book captures your attention and keeps you reading. So you're getting examples as well as a how-to guide. Very, very important. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will link these books, I think, if I can be bothered, in the description down below. I'm planning to eventually make a page with all the books that I've read on like copywriting and business and stuff like that. So I'll probably get that link in there eventually. The link might not be there at the time of launch, but I'll get there in there eventually. And I'll see you in the next video.